that garage? Well, I've been working on the Toyota pickup truck trying to get everything organized and one thing I realized is that just standing out in the hot sun is not going to cut it. For a while I had a tent over it and that worked okay until the wind caught it and flipped it over the fence and ended up in my neighbor's yard and I ended up having to take a sawzall and cut that thing up into pieces just to get it out of there so then I had nothing. So I kept looking for some kind of solution and I actually found one on Amazon. It's called the Garden Saw Carport System and they are super cool. I've ordered one. As soon as it comes in, I'm going to start putting that sucker together. The delivery truck just dropped off my Gardasol carport. Awesome! The solution to putting something under a cover. <laughs> this one is a gray one. They make a tan one. I'm taking the pieces around back one piece at a time. Kind of like the Johnny Cash song. Just because it's easier than trying to carry the whole thing. Because it's pretty heavy. And I got it moved over about where I want it. That, I pulled things that shouldn't be pulled <laughs> moving this thing over. It was not as easy as I thought. That jack didn't want to roll. But I think I've got it about where I want it now. I need to put together uh, two of these bars going up and a sidebar, you know, one end piece to see where it's going to come up against the building. Well, so far so good. I can tell you this, that everything's marked really well. And uh, my only problem is trying to fit it into the space that I got, but it's going to be really, I think, pretty cool once I get everything put on it. Uh, it snaps together very easily, so I'm going to continue on getting the skeleton put on. Well, I got it all together. The frame, the skeleton looks great. Uh, even working around the truck, which was a little bit different than the way they describe it in the manual, was not that hard because all the pieces clicked together with these pressure tabs, so it was really easy going up. Now I've got to get the tarp on it and then anchor this down. I think I'm going to anchor it to the building on this end and do something else on that end because I don't want to do it get blown away, but I'm tickled with how big it is. I mean, i got a lot of room to work underneath here. I can mount a light up underneath it. And uh, it is hot as blue blazes out here, but this was not that hard to put together, even all by myself. So, uh, super cool. Onward, onward. I am pretty impressed with the way that it's marked. You can see that everything's got a label on it, and it corresponds with the, uh, with the number in the uh, instruction manual. So, it's way better than a lot that I've seen as far as being able to put it together. I need some water. Holy moly, it's hot out here. Putting this thing together has not been that bad, but I'll tell you one thing, it's been as hot as a two-arm paper hanger with a cat full of rocking chairs, and <laughs> I don't know what this other thing is, but it is humid and hot out here. But uh, I've done this all by myself. It has not been that bad. I've been really pretty impressed with how it's gone together. Let's take a look at where I'm at right now. Uh, I've made a few non-factory modifications just because the concrete is so janked up in here. But as far as like the well thought out plans of these things, they're, it's actually really kind of surprising. So let's take a look uh, on the inside of where I'm at. I got the left and right walls attached and then I rolled up the windows. They have Velcro holding them up, which is pretty slick. And then if, let's say you get bad weather or rain or something, you can just roll them down and the Velcro holds them. Uh, and then it's got a door with an awning right there that I have not hooked up yet because I'm still working on it. The inside is spectacular. I did a couple of non-factory mounting uh, brackets, <laughs> uh, plumber's tape, on that bar there. Uh, and I'll do one on the other side. It actually goes up under the underhang for this, so hopefully I won't get too much water. 
I bought some lights on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. They were super cheap and they're very super light, but they are bright. And uh, those worked out perfect for this thing. It's really pretty simple to attach uh, either just the top or the top and the uh, bottom to these bars. You've got a rubber band type thing and it just wraps around it and snaps in. Uh, it goes from one end to the other. You can see them across the top there. And it couldn't be easier. On the bottom you've got the brackets and then a bolt that goes through them and then uh, anchors. So I'm going to use some concrete anchors uh, on the, uh, the legs there. A little bit different than what they sent. They sent some big ones. Uh, this concrete is not that great, so I'm going to use some smaller ones. Um, but let me tell you, I can't be more pleased with the way this thing turned out. It is awesome. I love it. With the kit, you get some anchors, I guess, if you're going to put it into the ground. Some super cool gloves. <laughs> it's got some hold-down nylon and some concrete anchors, which I didn't use. I used the other ones. Um, but it comes with everything. Man, this thing's awesome. This one is super cool. It comes with an awning that opens and closes. Um, I will say this. The ones with the sides, I think, do a little bit better as far as, like, wind goes. If you get a lot of wind, I think the sides help not let the wind come up underneath it. So it's worth spending a little bit extra to get the sides. And they come off pretty easily. So um, if you don't want to have the sides on, you can take it off. But at least you have them in case you want to put them on. And during the winter, you might want to... Uh, shield yourself from snow or real cold wind coming through there so that's super cool but overall I am like super super stoked about this thing um, as uneven in, as the concrete is over here I was able to put it up all by myself with no help and this thing is freaking awesome well there it is completed I'm super happy with it it looks great as far as like redneck great <laughs> it ended up being about the perfect size the same size as my building um, this is the end of it. I didn't have to put the other side of it on, the other end of it. Uh, and I got it open just to get a little uh, ventilation. But I'm just really super happy with this. And anything I want to do out here, I'm shielded from the, the wind and the rain and uh, whatever else I'm trying to stay out of. And it keeps the truck dry. So hopefully we can get this truck finished up. Now you may be asking yourself, what happens if you get really bad weather? And I've got this anchored down, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, let's take a look at what it was like when I was standing out here and we had like some torrential uh, rain and winds. It is coming down, but this thing's rock solid. Awesome. It's like being on a ship in the middle of the ocean in a really bad storm. <laughs> this is how bad the weather was. Two doors down, this big tree was blown over from the wind and the weather. So I would say that uh, the carport did pretty well. <laughs> So I tell you, that was actually crazy, and I did hear the tree fall. It was uh, it was unbelievably wild, and the uh, carport did great. It didn't move one inch. So this thing is super sturdy. It'll keep the sun off of me. I'll be able to cool off a little bit. And actually, I think if I wanted to, I could actually uh, paint inside of it because it'll keep the bugs out. So I tell you what, I am super happy with my garden saw uh, carport. Take a look at the other models they have. One of them will fit where you want to put it and what you want to do. This is the gray one. They make them in tan. Uh, this thing is the real deal. I appreciate you watching the Redneck Garage. Any comments, questions, post them below. I'll be doing a lot more videos here soon on the Toyota and also the, the Maverick and the Jeep. Uh, Maverick's supposed to be coming in and the Jeep is going to be over at the new shop. So, appreciate you watching. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.